Ali from Ameba TV too. Uh, the short program never too late to rule, to dance, to lead. We have a guest here with us. Um, Sir, can you please introduce yourself? Um, Honorable Ahmed Abdullah Nijama from Zaria, from Kano State Zaria, in precise. And I'm happy to be with you here on this very special program. We're also happy to have you here in the Um So, we have from a little bit that you're coming out for your political post in the House of Rep, Zaria constituency. Yeah. How true is that? Well, it is true. Because uh, politics is a game of number and it's a game of time and commitments. We look at it from this perspective that youth are being left far behind. That uh, we need to do ourselves. We need to make changes for the better world of tomorrow. So it's one of the yeah. points and the reason why we feel it's time for us to come on board ginger my feeling is to establish over and good governance for the betterment of tomorrow. From what you're saying now, we are getting that uh, what prompted you into coming out for this post actually is uh, the youths, you being a youth yourself. Yeah. Because we can also call you a youth, right? Yeah. I'm a youth. Okay, so what are your political uh, uh, aspirations? Actually, I. Um, from Zaria, as I said, from Kelly's ward, far back times I contested for the seat of councillor. After a while, I still contested for the same councillor. Later on, I contested for the same seat assembly. But still, people would ask me, we've been contesting from councillor, councillor to state assembly, and nothing forthcoming. And you still want to contest for the seat of reps. Far back 2019, we contested for the same seat of reps. Virtually, our party is a noble party, it gives forum for every contestant to play a better role, which my brother, my uncle, my friend, in politics, BBG, Jezazo, that's Alan Abu BBG, emerged as the flag bearer, wish him well. Fortunately, he was able to take it to the last point. And uh, we wish every point or every, every bit of life we had as a word of commitment. So, as it is, I'm contesting for the same seat of reps under the same platform and a noble party that's PDP under Zaria. But it's really Okay, so can you tell us a little bit of your educational background? Well, I am Ahmed Abdullah, I said, popularly called me Jama'a. I was born and brought up in Tudor Madag and used to do Nazari along Sabalai by Congo campus. Attended my primary school at LE Kopanduka. After a long while, my dad enrolled me into EV Star School Congo campus. From there, NCE, from there, degree. There are other programs. So, God's willing, we were able to achieve the aims and objectives of education. That is why we are sitting before you right here and even before the whole world. Telling them, or telling all of us that this is our ambition and this is our will for the better needs of youth and elders of tomorrow. Also, a little bit you told us, a bit that told us about your political aspirations. Yeah. Also, told us um, you have an NGO on which you are the coordinator. So, can you tell us a little bit about the NGO? Yes. NGO. Yes. NGO means non governmental organization organized by private entities to establish formulas to eradicate poverty, to elevate lower level class by assisting them either educationally, maybe morally, maybe, maybe educationally, maybe physically. Why I say physically in the sense that uh, there are some boys in the society are very useful and good. But due to lack of funding and proper governance, you see they might end up uh, being taught 
understand? Being useless in society, committing serious of social vices, and creating mayhem to the society. So NGO meaning to lift and assist others. And which are NGO I Honorable Ahmed Abdullah Jamal have been the state coordinator. We don't close, we do not cover only Zaria who's on one, but we deal with Kaduna States, myself, Abdul Makama from Kaduna Central, Elizabeth Dauda from the other side, that's the seaside of Kaduna States. We will pull it together to assist anyone that comes away, either educationally, either socially, morally, whatever. By virtue of time, NGO doesn't mean to create job giving or a work doing. Even to sit and create a forum for G and C, meaning guiding and counseling, where you seek someone and counsel him in the right doing by denying him different doing that's the negative aspect of it. So virtually NGO is the life taking and is a life experience, is a life activities that give proper monitor to the lowest level in the society. Okay. Um, so what is your advice to people out there who want to also come out to leave but has been separated? Because we, um, the youths actually, are scared of coming out because the society which we found ourselves in is a society ruled by our fathers. And so we, so the youth are actually scared of coming out. So what are your advice to us then? Well, my advice goes to every Nigerian youth. What I keep on saying youth is that uh, today youth in Nigeria are taking almost 60 to 70 percent. And clearly the bonus in society used to be left behind, only being used during political uh, that's going to political time, whereby you can see that uh, they can only be used in terms of snatching of ballot boxes, creating problems here and there during election time. But for the series of time when the election is over, you might discover such youth have been left or kept redundant, doing nothing else, creating indulgence for themselves to see what and what will they do to survive before additional four years to come. So it's high time, my fellow youth in Nigeria, to establish a focus how we are going to change Nigeria for good. Nigeria is a motherland where no one who wants to go by his own. Being one entity, it gives privilege for the houses, for the Yoruba, and for the Igbos. So, whenever I look at the nature of our society, I ask myself, are the youth of this time active? If they are active, where are we left behind? The best way we can contribute positively to the present time is for us to enroll into offices from different parastatals, from different positions politically, so that we should be able to emanate, emanate, speak as a, we should be able to ascertain positions where we can make corrections. If you look at the number of graduates being graduated everywhere, you might look at the job seeking is less, right? It's high. Why everyone is everyone wants to live on white collar job, right? But if you look around, there are skills in the youth of nowadays. There are ideas established in them from the schools. I want to say this, every school in Nigeria, graduating youth should establish a forum or a syllabus that will teach them something doing, not just working in the office. So that, let it be like skills acquisition, teach them, properly bring them to other, once they graduate from their NYC, they should be able to establish them.
But the politics of Nigeria speaks on the youth. Where are the youth? I cried day and night. When I look at myself, I passed through primary school, government school for that matter. But if I look at the number of my colleagues who are supposed to be still on the street, I look at things and not just friendly. So NGO, we are running NGO to help to properly bring, upgrade the standard of the, of the present time, most especially, I said most especially, the youth and the old. The youth and the old are the people who the society will help. The youth are just coming up. The olders were retired, they are home, they are like jobless, they are busy doing nothing. If the youth can compromise with the situation, the old will benefit. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So this is how and why we keep around our NGO. I will make sure that it touches every local look and cry in Kaduna State, not just in Kaduna State, in Nigeria at large. Uh, so, so since you're also a citizen of Kaduna State, so who do you aspire to be the um, next governor after um, this present channel is finished? Who do you aspire to be the next governor of Kaduna State? Well, you've said something big. You should have said something mighty. Leadership is from Allah, and He goes to whoever He wishes to have. But uh, I want to say, in Kaduna State, we are one big family. One mother, one father. Like, uh, the fears of politics in Kaduna State gave them the Honorable Dr. Mukutara Malayoro, the former governor of Kaduna State, has played a better role politically, morally, socially, and even economically to the people of Kaduna State, which everyone has seen to his door. And um, we wish him well to repeat or to come up and bring greater challenges better way forward for Kaduna State and uh, adding to it there is uh, Alhaji Isa Ashur Kodam who became the gubernatorial plan bearer 2019 he is a man of his word integrity and well doing if he says yes it's yes if he says no it's no same attitude with uh, Ex, with the, uh, the ex-governor, that was the former governor of Kaduna State, in the Antarctica. So the two structure we have from the two party system, from one party in Kaduna State, we are seeing everyone God has given us we welcome to him. I will pray for Allah SWT to save guide him, let him do the best to Kaduna State. But only I was salute uh, the cognizance of our party as the PDP for a well done job doing at a national convention which was done smoothly and peacefully conducted and it was done, alhamdulillah. So this gave us a room to show to the whole world that PDP is one big family. PDP is one movement and PDP is for all. Virtually PDP from the national level I would want to acknowledge the effort displayed by the his Excellency, the GCFR, the Wazir in Adamawa, in person of Elijah Tiko Abubakar, for their immensely support to make sure that the party has elevated from the level it is to date. Adding that, I uh, want to acknowledge the efforts of uh, himself, the Madugo of Concosia, and person of engineer Dr. Abu Musa Konkoso for his pull out from Kano to establish PDP Composia movement across the globe. He really done his own aspect. Maduro, you did well, and Allah SWT do it to every step you take. And accordance, we would love to go to uh, the governors of Sokoto states that uh, 
Alaji Amin Wazir Tambwal for his contribution to the PDP, to the Nigerian government, to the Nigerian at large. Why do I have to say so? Because uh, if I could remember there was a time when he was then the speaker. He did whatever he could to make sure that the democracy, democracy is in action. And actively he showed himself when he passed through the fence, through I mean, the fence or the gates to the house to make sure that things must be done in accordance to Nigerians and for the betterment of Nigeria. So, and uh, one good clearly point I want to acknowledge is two people, the person of um, my mentor, my dear father to say, is uh, Dr. Thomas Bobongida Aliyu, uh, Sardana Hausa, Helper Mina for his effort because they are the trend movers. They make sure the party has moved from one stage to another. With every challenge that comes, himself and the person of uh, the Jaguar and Terakawa of Jigal Street, uh, that is the person of Alaji Sula Langlo, for his great contribution politically. We wish such people to be our leaders, even much more than ever. And uh, there's one person I want to, don't want to left him behind. He is a leader, a political mentor. He lives with no fear. He himself knows himself, and he knows why he belongs to us. The present governor of Bochi State he is a man of his words. While I'm making all names and all their contribution, PDP is one big family. We work as one, we live as one, we unite as one. We are going to govern Nigeria from the councillor to the presidency, Insha Allah, by 2023. Thank you. So, uh, can you give us the little declaration of your manifesto towards the Zara constituency? Well, virtually every politician or every political seeker will have his own manifestation. But uh, looking at the four side of Zaria, that's uh, the two faces in Zaria. Zaria is a very big constituency compromising 13 words with two state assembly members, a member from Zaria City, a member from the outside Zaria City. You see, for every governance, just speak world truth must involve you too. So, my own aspiration to become a member of House of Prayer is to see how I can key in and make clear achievements that are going to be called goals in politics. Generally, democratically, socially, and even morally. We have problems inside our youth some of the major youth who wants to go to school actually they were left alone. Only they depend on their house doing, all their job doing, all their whatever they do for a living. You might see that youth will have this mindset of I want to study. Hmm? But the idea is not there. So and we have in Zaria City, both Zaria, we have number of graduates who <coughs> sitting doing nothing. We make sure we are certain and key in to seek for a job for them, establish them for good. Adding that, we will have to create a phenomena in the sector of health, like a free delivery kit, delivery kits given to every woman who gave birth to, with a token of change to ascertain and assist the husband for a well done, well done, well, well, well done job doing so that uh, society will not panic in the number of increase we are having day by day. And if you talk of the women aspect, ladies, most of the time, our own parents, because women, women are our own, they are parents, they are wives, they are sisters. So I look at, we must find something doing that will enrich them into their various home. Something that will bring them positive outcome in order to assist their husbands to assist their relatives, to assist their children. So adding that, 
politics of today depends on speaking. But to me, action should be louder than any voice. Thank you. Um, so, sir, uh, what is your contribution? Uh, what is your own, uh, your own um, view towards the local government's uh, election as uh, of Cardinal State, local government's well, election? So what is your own contribution? Well, it's clearly that uh, Cardinal State government have done their best, almost best. Let me be clear. That is to say, that introducing electronic voting is a way of pushing the generation or pushing the system from from the uh, changing the system to a digital world, right? So, virtually, it's something is a welcome doing, but the way the election is uh, was conducted. Like in US local government is on one where I happen to be a sole participant in it, where a lot of mistakes and problems, whereby you see lots of uh, polling units we are not working, the electronic voting machines are not working, and for such things to be fixed, the next thing we had that uh, councillors win their elections. You know, you know that this culture of uh, Local government elections in a state whereby the government of the day is an opposition or is the incumbent government. So you see, it's whatever you say you acknowledged because they will, they will use the power within themselves. So they have to share it the way it's equal to themselves. But as far as I'm concerned, there are no elections conducted properly. Elections are not conducted in Zaria. Same way in South Hungary and other places, and even at Kadma Center and other places. But um, we are looking at it. If someone that says PDP is the worst party ever, ending up to be paying 1,000 Naira for him to be voted, is to tell you that Nigerians are waking up. Nigerians are coming up. The Kadunas are ready for change. That change, the change, that PDP is taking all along is coming into reality today. If an APC man that formerly 2019, 2015-2019, what happened? From 2019 to date, we're like, if you say you are PDP now, you like be hiding, trying to have a way to hide yourself. But today, a bottom member of PDP will be chest and say, PDP is my party, PDP is my stand. PDP is my pride, is to tell you that there are things the government of the day has failed, has failed, has failed, has failed. Because when the security system is failed, everything is corrupt. The architecture of the security system in Nigeria is no more in a proper way. We are not saying they are bad or worse. We will not pray for the bad thing to be happening to Nigerians and Nigerians at large. But we are appealing to the elders of the land, who happens to be in power. They should reason that the same set of people that are being kidnapped and killed daily were the same set of people who voted them into their office. What is going to be the repercussion when it comes to 2023? When the same set of people now will say, we don't want to again, it's going to be something else. So the Kaduna State election is they just conducted Nikawe just it as it is, as they wish, as they want it, and it goes. I want to get an ambition, my own is a, I want to start the effort of my title word councillors from every word and the chairman himself for the effort, discipline and myself in the system, in the team, we stood by. We work towards door to door, we campaign together, we make sure that people understood that PDP is the best solution and is going to be the safer hand to rule Nigeria in the next forthcoming election. Thank you. Um, so from the reason you've said now, we already know who you want 
to be your own declaration towards the aspirant of Cardinal State Governor and also who you want to win, inshallah, by saying um, it is um, for um, um, national um, level. Uh, no, um, well, um, declaring who is going to win yeah. is by his will. Yeah. And uh, politics, I always say it, it goes to whom you might not even expect. But these are the two pillars we have in Kaduna State. And the father in Kaduna State, the person of Al Hajj Ahmed Muhammad Bakarbi, is my namesake, my mentor, my father. We seek advice through his closest, close, closest, closest people. And we share much ideas, like myself, we chat online, we do things, we share things in common. He gives advices for the benefit of the youth and the Kaduna State at large. Now I want to be happy, I want to beat my chest and said, a youth of my type or of even lower than my age is becoming the PDP national, he is now the present PDP national youth leader. Kudos to President Kadede and everyone who is behind him by his side. We push hands in prayer and make sure that may Allah SWT be with you Suleiman in whatever step you are making to make this party greater again and again. Thank you very much for being here in the studio with us. We really appreciate you, Honorable. And we wish you success in the forthcoming elections. Thank you. Um, that's all for on today's episode of Not Too Young to Rule. Uh, we still have in the studio with us PDP aspirant for the House of Representatives, Zaria Constituency, Major Ma'a. So we are looking out uh, for the next week's guests in the house, in the studio, or not too young to rule or to lead. Watch out for next week. I'm still remain your home book presenter, Divine Ali from Amebo TV2. Thank you. Thank you.